Hey everyone, it's Suey. It's been a while since I've done one of these blog thing jiggers. I need to get in the habit of doing it so that I can get less nervous. So today I want to talk about a new favorite group called TNX. Something that's been on my mind for a minute and I just want to gush about them for a sec and see if anybody else is been the same way. Before I do that, I was getting my hair cut and you know how the people that cut your hair want to find out all about your life. This girl asked me what I was doing this summer and so I just said, oh, I might go to a concert. I like to go to concerts. I'm going to LA probably for another concert in July. And they're like, oh yeah, what concert? I'm like, well, it's K-pop. I won't know. And then she's like, oh, I know K-pop. I'm like, oh, you do? Stray Kids. She knows Stray Kids. And a little later on, she's like, so like, what do you do with, with your life? And I'm sitting there going, do I really tell her? I'm like, oh, well. I edit videos, I have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, what's your channel about? It's K-pop. A little bit later, she's like, you really have a cool life, don't you? You get to do just what you want and it sounds so fun. And so today, with that in my mind, here I am talking to you about the stuff I love and trying not to feel defensive about it and trying not to feel frustrated about it and trying to just have fun and think about how people might look and say, hey, that's really cool. A little thumbs up for the day. Where I'm coming from this very minute, this is my mindset right now. It doesn't last very long when this happens. So TNX, what do we think about these guys? They debuted, how long has it been now? About three or four weeks, not quite a month, I don't know. They are the new boy group that Size P Nation Company is promoting. They participated in a audition show called Loud that Psy and JYP did together. Both chose boys from this group to be in a um, boy group. I don't know what JYP's group's gonna be or I've heard anything about them. But anyway, TNX are the six boys who won that competition with Psy. I, I watched like two episodes of that competition, I think it was. And for me, it was too, they drug out those episodes to be too long and I just didn't have patience for it. And I kind of feel bad now that I didn't stick with it. And maybe I'll go back and watch it to learn more about these boys. But I did watch their pre-debut show, which wasn't a whole lot. It was really, really simple and fell in love with him instantly from that first episode. I really, really feel like these guys have what it takes to make it. I think they're going to be big. I remember feeling this way about ATs when they first debuted and I was like, they've got something. There's something. I feel the same way about this group. They're so young, but they're so, so, so talented. And if they stick with it, I think that they will really go far. I just saw yesterday on Twitter, they were saying how much, how many streams they had on Spotify. TNX has twice as many as the group just under them, which I think was Tempest, I'm not sure. So they are skyrocketing above all the other rookie groups of the year so far already. Not that numbers mean a whole lot, that could be another spill for another day, but it's just showing that they are getting a lot of attention right now. The members in this group are Taehyun, who is their leader, Kyung Joon, they were teasing him already about him being the quiet boy. So of course he's the one that stood out to me because I was like, oh, is he really quiet? But he's more than that, he's amazing. Then they have Jun Hyuk, who the minute he opened his mouth and saying on that first episode that I watched, I was like, wow. What am I now? What am I now? What if I'm someone I don't want around? Like really speechless. He's amazing. And there's Hui, who writes and produces their songs. He's going to be the genius of the group. He's going to be like the Nam Jun. He's going to be like the Hong, Hong Jun. You know, he's going to be the, the guy that kind of is behind the scenes doing all the things for them. And his rapping is crazy fun. Oh, and then there's Hyung Su, who is also a fun rapper. And he is so cute. <sighs> And he's got the most unique voice. I just love how he sounds in their debut song. The debut song called Move. And then their maknae is Sung Joon, right? Sung Joon, I think I got all their names right. Maknae Sung Joon, who has a, one of those deep, kind of deep voice, deep raspy voices, which I just love it when the youngest has is the one that ends up with a deep voice. We've had a few other examples like that in some other groups, which is crazy. So my first impressions of this group, they are going to be big 
and amazing and well loved. And their album, I bought it already, which is not my norm, because yeah, I loved every single song on there. All the songs sound different. They're hard hitting songs, there's ballad songs, there's a fun, upbeat song, there are funky beats and really cool rapping and beautiful vocals and all the things. All the things already. They got it going. They just very barely finished promotions this first album and I feel like somebody was saying that they were having a comeback again already like was that them or was that somebody else but I was I just remember thinking already I don't know they might be hitting the k-pop ground running and it's gonna be crazy I hope they get through the rough times and we know all know that there's rough times so like I said if they can get through rough times and issues that they might face then I really do think that it, they're gonna be one of those groups that we're gonna hear about for a long, long time. They're gonna be the ones, you know, in the arena tours before a couple years are over, probably. I'm so excited to watch their journey. I know, I know it's a thing sometimes with us loving these baby brand new groups with such young, young members. They, these guys were actually gonna debut a 12 year old, but they changed their mind and decided to not do that quite yet. And, and we all know that's probably the best decision that somebody had made. Somebody probably put the foot down and said, you know what, this is crazy. Yeah, let's wait a little bit on him, but still, they're very young. I think 20 is their oldest. I don't usually pay attention to age, really, truly. We always talk about how it's weird to fall in love with these baby groups, but it is so fun to fall in love with them in the beginning and watch them grow and watch them become big and, and just love them from the beginning. I just think it's the best. Who's with me on this ride? Let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think about them, if you've looked them up and listened to them, and if you feel the same way, if you feel like they might have what it takes and who's your bias and what you're what you think is going to happen with them yeah let's talk about it that's it for now thanks for hanging out with me let's be friends and keep up together Bye. <laughs>